In a bid to ease the traffic congestion, the government has decided to procure school buses and electric buses under the Meghalaya Integrated Transport Project. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma today said that in order to allow for traffic decongestion, school buses can be the alternative to private vehicles that drop and pick up children from schools and electric buses for the general public. He informed that since schools do not want to run the school buses on their own, the Noodle Agency is working out a system wherein organizations, societies or such will run the school buses. He informed that under the project, luxury vehicles will also be procured for tourists. He said that 200 Innovas will be procured and given to entrepreneurs at 50% subsidy from the government. For transporting of agricultural produce, pickup trucks will be, pro- will be procured and given to farmers' organizations, entrepreneurs and youths at 50% subsidy so as to provide employment to the youths of the state. First of all, uh, we are now working towards uh, ensuring that uh, the uh, overall um, mobility uh, aspect in the state uh, uh, is looked into because we are really working towards now uh, the MITP project that was there, that Megal Integrated Transport Project. Uh, that project, uh, we are working towards now expansion of that project. So not just roads, but it was a very comprehensive transport-oriented uh, EAP. Uh, so in that project, uh, it was uh, um, uh, important for us to look at different aspects of transport. So we have decided as a government that we are going to go into four areas. First area is going to be electric buses for general public transport. So we will start with the first phase where we will take few buses and we will see how the process moves forward. Second is uh, we are going to give normal uh, normal buses, that is non-electric uh, buses, to uh, run schools, uh, you know, sorry, transport uh, children to schools. This will not necessarily be run by the school, but uh, uh, the uh, concerned department, nodal agency, will work out a formula in which we will have some kind of organization, society, or um, you know, uh, people who run it. Uh, we will work the system out. But the idea is to introduce school buses uh, and uh, to allow the traffic decongestion to take place because um, uh, because of the number of uh, individual vehicles that go and pick up the students, uh, we realize that huge traffic jam is there. We realize that, that schools don't want to run the bus service. So therefore, we are work- looking at an innovative model where we get uh, people who will run the system. And so buses will be introduced in the schools. For third project in this uh, MITP expansion project, or the, you know, the next phase, uh, is the luxury vehicles for transport. Uh, so we have introduced uh, a program where we will uh, be giving out close to 200 innovas uh, to entrepreneurs at a 50% subsidy from the government of Meghalaya. So 50% will be subsidized by us, 50% we will organize finance, and we will give it to the youth and tourist operators, whoever wants to apply for this, we will allow them and we will promote this uh, high-end uh, vehicles uh, to be used by, uh, I mean, for the tourist in, in the state because we feel that there is a bit of a gap in that where we are looking at high-end tourists but we don't have the kind of vehicles because our entrepreneurs and our taxi drivers cannot afford it sometimes. So we want to come into it and we want to support them in order to bring up the level of tourism uh, luxury in the sector. Uh, fourth is that uh, the entire prospect of 1917, which was the, uh, you know, for transportation of agricultural products. Uh, in line with that, we are expanding uh, this proposal also, where 200 pickup trucks will be bought and distributed to different entrepreneurs, farmers' organizations or societies. Whoever applies, there will be a process of application and selection. Here also 50% of this will be subsidized by government of Meghalaya and 50% by the entrepreneur or the concerned uh, farmers organization. And uh, obviously there will be banking loans and all in this so that the farmer or the particular individual does not feel the pressure of finance. Uh, And uh, this again, as I said, is the first initial phase. And if we find that uh, the response is coming and, uh, and the system is falling into place, we intend to expand it further and uh, give more school buses, more electric buses, more high-end luxury vehicles for tourist operators and our entrepreneurs who wish to run these uh, services. And the fourth is the 
uh, Mahindra pickups or whichever uh, small uh, transport vehicles that the farmers would like to buy, we're going to expand. So these are what the project was about.